47-year-old Lamberto Chico is a former convict and drug user. But he says his devotion to the Black Nazarene changed his life. Now he holds a decent job as a dispatcher in an FX terminal. Tawag na nang tawag sa kanya, ganun. Dasal lang din. Ganito ba mangyayari sa akin habang buhay, ganun. Another devotee, 68-year-old Antonia Hapson, sells towels bearing the image of Holy Icon. She is grateful to the Nazarene for healing her daughter who was diagnosed with a deadly disease a decade ago. Simula po nung nagkasakit yung anak ko, na sinabi, hiniling ko po sa kanya na bigyan siya ng palabagong buhay. Binigyan naman po, dininig po niya ang sinabi ko. Antonia and Lamberto are among the faithful who attended the Thanksgiving procession for the Black Nazarene on New Year's Eve. They don't mind the sleepless night and walking barefoot. They say it's nothing compared to the blessings and miracles they get out of their devotion to the icon. They carry banners and replicas of the Nazarene. They wear maroon and yellow shirts, the colors of the statue. The crowd of devotees this year is at 15,000, almost double from last year. This delayed the procession for an hour as the crowd pushed and struggled to get near the image. Church officials even changed the route, with pilgrims passing through Quezon Boulevard instead of the narrow Evangelista Street. Some fainted from heat and exhaustion in a procession that lasted for seven hours. The event usually coincides with New Year's Day, but organizers move it earlier because of safety concerns. The Thanksgiving is a prelude to the Traslacion on January 9, where millions of devotees honor the Black Nazarene in a procession, walking barefoot in penance. Like Lamberto and Antonia, they believe the image, known to be miraculous, will save them. Rex Remitio, CNN, Philippines.